boat ride and a, no, we took an hour bus ride and a half an hour boat ride from Punta Cana and we are at? La Romana. Yeah. Beautiful. The water. Clear waters. So beautiful. We've got two beautiful starfish here. It's important that these stay in the water. They can't come out of the water that long. Maybe just for like a couple of seconds. But look how gorgeous they are. So beautiful. You look comfortable. Hmm? You can't come to an island and not have a coconut. It's organic as can be. And the best part? Que rico! I have to do some construction. Actually, no. We are, though, going to explore the Chaco Caves! Behind me is the noni tree. Noni tree is pretty cool. The fruit on it I first learned about in Hawaii and it's great for stomach problems. It's good for cancer patients to relieve um, pains and it's also great for the liver. This here is a hibiscus flower. Sia, what are we doing? Going into a cave to swim in some cave pools. Sounds awful. Whoa. Not a good place for a drone. How was the water? Refreshing. Yeah. Whew. How's the water, Sia? Uh, it's pretty cold. Uh, like you'd expect, having no sunlight. Whew, but it's fresh water. Uh. I am surrounded by stalactites and stalagmites, which are absolutely beautiful. And one thing to remember is when you're in a cave is do not touch them because it stops them from growing. It creates like, there's like oils on your hands and then the water bounces off and they can't continue to grow. And it takes a hundred years for one to grow one centimeter. So these guys work hard. That was awesome! So good! It is 9 a.m. and we are taking a tour of a rum factory. I'm pretty sure we're going to be sampling some rum. I haven't even had breakfast yet. Ooh. It's good, but not at 9 a.m. We are having lunch today at a place called Chlorophylla. Chlorophylla. <laughs> And it's a plant-based restaurant, so everything that we're gonna eat and drink is plant-based. My kind of restaurant. I think I'll ever get to be in in my entire life. It's called the Mundo King and it's pretty trippy. This is like something out of Beetlejuice. Yes, yes. Wow. 
Whoa, this is a throne. The cryptic throne. Whoa. Look at all this art over here. It's all like aliens and what? extraterrestrials. So crazy. I feel like this is like one of those things where if you grab it, everything's just gonna cave in. Everything has to do with aliens. Guess this guy believes in aliens. And they're coming for us. Kristen and I are at the Instituto Intercultural del Caribe. That is a mouthful. But this place teaches you how to speak different languages. If you're from a different country and you move here to Dominican and you don't know any Spanish, you can come here to learn Spanish. Yo quiero comer <laughs> una comida de mi madre. Quiero dormir <laughs> porque tengo sueño. What's great about this school is it's half outdoors. It's in a beautiful house surrounded by massive trees. You can hear the birds, you can feel the sunshine, feel the breeze. If I was to take a class, it would be in a school like this. Sometimes when we travel, we don't really know the language of the country that we're in. So I highly recommend that you take a course on the language of that country. It'll help your travels, it'll help you make friends, and you're more part of the culture. 